is up guys, Delboy here. So Carl Frampton's next fight has been made, it's official. He is going to be fighting on the 29th of July back home in Northern Ireland. He's going to be fighting at the SSE Arena in Belfast. And he's going to be fighting Mexican Andres Gutierrez. Now, um, Gutierrez, I've seen a few clips of him here and there. He's a he's an orthodox fighter. Um, five foot six comes into the fight with a record of thirty five wins, with one defeat, one draw. Twenty five of those thirty five wins coming by way of knockout. And he's um, from looking at him online, he's a he's a bit of a come forward fighter. I think it will gel well to be a good fight. I think it's designed to give Frampton a couple of a few rounds. And stylistically, I think I think um, Gutierrez's his style kind of plays into Frampton's hands. I think Frampton is like an ambush fighter where he likes to pick out those quick sort of right-hand counters and sort of get in and out kind of thing. We saw that against Leo Santa Cruz in the first fight, how he sort of picked his spots here and there. I feel he'll do this. I think this fight is designed for, for Frampton to look good. Uh, uh, Gutierrez is decent. He's solid. But he's not really fought that that many guys. But the best guy on his resume is Christian Mahares, who who he lost to in a majority decision. Obviously, Mahares has been around for quite some time now, and he's been a world champion. And he lost that fight by majority decision. And apart from that, he's not really fought anybody, to be quite honest. So, how good is Gutierrez in terms of world level? I I don't think he's a world level fighter, but at the same time. You know he's not he's not some complete scrub. I think it'll be it'll be it'll be an entertaining fight while it lasts, but you'd expect Frampton to to do the job here. Having said that, if you recall a few years back, Frampton fought a guy called Alejandro Gonzalez um, a couple of years back. That was Frampton's first fight in the United States, and in that fight he got dropped twice. And Gonzalez at the time was an unknown guy. And, you know, a lot of people were saying that it was a cherry pick for Frampton. And he had real problems in that fight. So who knows, you know, you can't rule out Gutierrez. But, um, but yeah, I mean, from what from what I can see of Gutierrez, Frampton should win. But, um, but yeah, the, ho the uh, homecoming for Kyle Frampton, we'd have all liked a bigger fight. We'd, we'd have all liked a fight with, uh, with Lee Selby, especially back here in the UK. That fight sells. It's a big fight. But um, but yeah, Frampton needs to stay active, and after this fight, providing you wins, you know, they're the fights we want to see him in. You know, we want to see him in there with Lee Selby. You know, guys like that. But um, what do you guys think of this fight, and how do you see this one playing out? Has Gutierrez got a chance, or like me, do you think he's been put there for a reason to make Frampton look good, to take him a few rounds, and ultimately for Frampton to get a, to get a knockout in front of his home fans? I think it's one of those type of fights. It's kind of a showcase fight for me. But um, but tell me what you guys think. Peace.